My name is Jezreel Barnes. I was born Sherelle Barnes. I was born in Goldsboro, North Carolina, August 12, 1989. And I decided I wanted to be female to male transition. I decided I wanted to transition when I was uh, 25 years old. I did my research for two years before fully deciding this is what I wanted to do. And December 28, 2016, I started T. And I went to Raleigh and seen my daughter, Kate Scanlon. And after seeing the psychologist, she decided that this was best for me. And this is the route that I wanted to go. When I was five years old, my father always put a basketball in my hand. When I grew up, my dad basically treated me like the son that he never had. I was the only child, so I always played basketball. I always was in the gym. I always was playing things that uh, boys would play football and I became accustomed to doing things that boys did. My father uh, bought me clothes, Jordans, jerseys, everything that a boy would wear. But at the end of the day, it was kind of hard understanding that he had a problem with who I was when I grew up, when he helped create it, who I am today. Growing up, I definitely knew I was different than other females. Like that was a hands down given. Um, I never wanted to wear a dress. I never wanted to carry a purse. And I knew that this was the route that I needed to take in my life. Um, in high school, middle school, I always wanted to play basketball. And I tried to make myself be a girl for a while. I tried to do things. Because my father's a pastor, I tried to do things in the church and make him look good and do things for other people. But I realized that I was different from other females. And a few years ago, I decided one day that this isn't the life I wanted to live. I don't want to be a female. I always felt like I was born a male. So I took the time and took the initiative to find the steps to do what was best for me. And one day I woke up and said, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to find out more about female to male transition. And I had a few friends that started it. I had a few friends that knew more information about it. So I reached out to them and they gave me a lot of information on uh, the difference between being a stud and transitioning to male. So I feel like I made the best decision ever in my life. I'm so much at peace now. I had a lot of fears when it came to my family finding out that I was transgender because with my father's side especially, they're very religious people. So I grew up that being gay, being lesbian was a sin and um, dressing like a boy was a sin. and. It was a lot of fear, but I knew that I had to do what was best for me. And I came to a point where it didn't matter what no one else thought. I had to live my life for myself. So my family, it really didn't matter no more. They didn't really accept me as a lesbian. So I didn't really expect them to accept me as transgender. And as far as my uh, family, I really don't deal with too many people in my family on my father's side or on my mother's side. You know, I stay to myself. and. Yeah, it hurt. I lost a lot of people along the way, but at the end of the day, that doesn't matter um, to me anymore. I have a great support system. I have great friends. I have a great girlfriend and people that care about me. So I feel like the only thing that's changing is my outer appearance to match how I really feel inside. So family, it's okay. I have a new family. I have friends that treat me better than family has ever treated me. So at the end of the day, sometimes you just got to love people from a distance. That's what I learned about my family life. I do plan on getting top surgery next year. That is something big that I want to get beginning of the year. And following that, after a year being on T, I do have to get a hysterectomy. Uh, that's just naturally what I would have to do. And uh, I haven't experienced no major changes itself. Being on T, I've had a lot of acne. Um, my body odor has changed a lot, my, my build has changed a lot, I'm more stockier than I was before. Um, I've experienced some stomach cramps. Um, every week I have like stomach cramps sometimes. That's just because my uh, ovaries, my body's going through different changes. Uh, that's why I would have that hysterectomy. Um, my voice has got deeper. I'm experiencing facial hair, um, more hair all over my body, mustache, beard coming in real quickly so my doctor said about two years by next year in December I should be fully transitioned after I have my top surgery. Top surgery is basically 
and I have my breast removed, both breasts removed. So I look forward to the rest of the steps in my journey and just seeing the physical changes that uh, will take place.